Hello and welcome to episode 45 of Rigamortis Paranormal. Tonight's action-packed episode includes a haunted antique store on the east side of San Antonio. My best friend Emily. Little girl ghost in a hospital means death. Haunted house for sale. A sobering thought segment, an uber story, and more. I am David. This is Robert, Jasmine, Corey, and Ian. Hello. Hey, hey guys. Well, um, action-packed. Action-packed. Action -packed. Let's <laughs> get a lot of Let's stories. Yeah. Hey, you guys gonna have to excuse me. I'm gonna have to do this fucking sober, man. I got. I think I'm getting menstrual cramps or something. <laughs> man, I cannot, man, I'm, I don't know what it is, but man, it's. Uh, yeah. Just take some leave. That, that usually helps, right? Yeah, the yeah, one that cranberry juice, bro. Oh, yes, it's delicious. <laughs> it is delicious. Oh, there's nothing in there. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just, I'm going alcohol free tonight. It sucks, oh. man. Oh. It wow. fucking sucks. This, this is a historic episode, right? right? Yeah. I'll be back. I'm going to go get high, man. <laughs> man, that probably help, right? right? Yeah. Alleviate the pain. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Shitting and pissing out blood at the same time. Oh, I'm so fine. <laughs> yeah. so fine. Um, anyway, yeah, we uh, got some awesome stories. All Collins. Nobody had to read it. Oh, Ian. Oh, Ian, uh, and that's a decent. He is because I don't understand anything. It didn't even sound like English. And like, Honestly, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you're going to have some of your NASA friends call in and say, uh, <laughs> yeah. hey, can you explain this part? Or, yeah, they're going to have to explain it to us, man. But I do know what you're talking about. Yeah. What was it about? The Large Hadron Collider. Uh, yeah, these two were here when we recorded it. Jazz and Corey were not, so they're going to be... Uh, yeah. Hearing it for the first time today, but um, yeah, it's yeah, Large Hadron Collider awesome. in uh, Geneva or near yeah. Geneva. Oh my god, I'm gonna get yeah. super fucking drunk right yeah. now. Oh, it's a good story, it's a good <laughs> story. You're tying but... up your arm and shooting yourself up. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a good story, but I, I still don't. I mean, the words are just too big for me, man. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't understand it every time I ask. It's like, you know, I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> this is well, this is a hard one, too, because like. You know, when I went to college, like we did like applied physics. This is yeah. like theoretical physics. This is yeah. this is particle physics that we're talking about, and and quantum mechanics and nuclear physics. Oh, there you go. Okay, right? so right? yeah. Yeah. We should earn credit <laughs> sitting in your segment. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, man, I, I mean, yeah, my, my uh, arithmetic is remedial, man. I don't, trust me, man. I'm like at second grade level. Yeah. Well, hey, you know what? That's what true. What are you talking about? Have you guys listened? <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> hey, you guys listen to Ian's entire segment. Uh, you'll get a college credit from I us. I know. Uh, <laughs> and you'll be sorry. Tell your professor. Yeah. <laughs> from our yeah. credit dish. Yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully I did it justice because, I mean, that's the, that's the thing I'm, I'm saying here is, like, that, that's out of my realm of expertise. We didn't do no, none of that stuff. So, like, I... I Hopefully, I learned, figured it out enough where I could. It doesn't matter. It. We wouldn't know anyways if you got it wrong. I mean, that's true too. That's true too. That you were saying, and I can, yeah, yeah, I can understand. Fuck, I'll be I can't understand. I didn't understand. Right? He was reading uh, it, scratching his head. What does that mean, Rob? I don't know. <laughs> you have drunk ass people getting pulled over. I'm trying to explain to the cops. No, I listen to Ian Silver's dots. I'm good. <laughs> don't don't do that. That ain't gonna work. Uh, yeah. Sober you up. I don't know. It might. Okay, the cop it knows might. Us, right? He might. Is like, oh, you you are you sure you heard it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the large hadron collider. Okay. Oh yeah, you're, you're afraid to go. Yeah. Yeah. No breathalyzer, nothing. <laughs> you you work, awesome you work an Uber tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a smart guy, right? Oh, God. <laughs> a smart drunk scientist, right? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, even he's sobering up, right? <laughs> you, know, but you know what, though? That thing is super cool because I know what he's talking about. And I don't want to give away too much, but the yeah. things that it can do and that mm -hmm. theoretically, if it does, you know, it, it, that's why a lot of people are afraid of it. Uh, but, uh, you know, you got to believe our scientists. Does it collide? Like, it's a uh, there guys. are collisions it's involved. Yeah, yeah. Knew it. I fucking Particles. knew it. Yeah. 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 Well, let's just say it, it, can, <laughs> it could end uh, mankind? mankind as yeah. we know it. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. It's like scary. Any collisions that could do that. Does anybody want to see my innards, man? He is laughing and gagging. Pigs, right? Oh, pigs. I don't think it's that is there. Oh, pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Turk will get there. Did you hear it? Maybe it wasn't um, his kidney. Yeah, after. well, we'll get on to the next show. Well, that'll be uh, the next story. <laughs> that'd be a whole segment on itself. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Ian? It's like, Rob, that's why you're feeling sick. <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to go through there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to help man. start out that segment. <laughs> awesome, though, man. Awesome. Uh, 
that's going to be another good story. And then we got, man, uh, we got lucky, fellas, because we didn't have to do no reads because we did, uh, we did, we got the college, man, and yeah, uh, they're the, awesome, man. And some uh, recordings of the, uh, at the, um, Luchador. Uh, the Luchador, uh, Luchador, not Luchador. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a, uh, what was it, a, uh, a beer club or a little beer yeah, club awesome, or a yeah. bar a small I'm bar I guess we should say I mean the, is, is, that's all it was it was a bar but yeah we got to set up in the back and they let us uh, just collect stories and stuff that was really cool and so we got some uh, some drunk stories here oh, no. the best stories oh yeah. yeah oh man we got an Uber story right I know we got an Uber story yeah Uber. Uber. Yeah, for a change it's been a while but yeah it's a it's a little nice little one you should offer that extra that extra like service maybe charge a little more just take oh. Ian with you in the passenger seat. Oh man, yeah. Sir, you're, if you're too drunk. Yeah. You can sober you up. You should. Do you put your podcast? Do you put our podcast on while you're driving? <laughs> oh yeah, I have that, and I have some Indian music playing here once in a while too. <laughs> you blast it. <laughs> what is that thing called? I'll be singing like this too sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Got the sitar going. No, I've been throwing the podcast on there though, but I just really? uh, yeah. more sitar. Yeah, yeah, but more sitar music. Oh I got yeah, this, you uh, get a what's the uh, Ravi Shankar. Oh, you know what? That's a guy actually that uh, uh You know him. No, we do the <laughs> intro, the intro from the the, the Uber stories. What's that? And uh, we always get this copyright thing every time I post it on YouTube. It's like, "Hey, hey, you're copying music from somebody you know." Cuz I think some of his guitar work is in there. Yeah, he's and, like uh, the Jimi Hendrix of uh, uh guitar. guitars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, he stands on it and stuff too and he's like rocking oh, and spins it in circles and oh. <laughs> He has a pero okay. He's got those, uh, he's got them sandals in, like uh, partially barefooted, stepping on that thing, <laughs> stepping with, playing with his toes. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking snake. I mean, you know, hats yeah. off to him, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, uh, this is a trip, man. Uh, I've been. <laughs> Like, you know, like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it does seem hard to play for real, though, man. It's yeah, you got all those knobs and you got about 30 <laughs> strings on your back. And like, what chord do you play? You don't play a chord on that. There's a fat ass naked hat on there, man. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, damn, dude. Uh, uh, I, I, it does look hard, man. I, I, I will give him that, man. I'm just yeah. like, no, I'm gonna kind of take the high road here. <laughs> See what else we got on the chopping block? But, uh, um, I wonder what it sounds like with the distortion pedal, man. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, that's a distortion pedal on anything. Hard. <laughs> Piano, why not? Oh, they actually already have one, right? Pretty Probably. much. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, but. but like those, you, they don't have pickups, so I guess you have to mic those up. Yeah, right? you have to put a mic but in front of it. Right? Yeah, you mic. still can do that too. Yeah, you just put it up in the. Man, we gotta try that. Dude. I was saying, do that on your next show. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Yeah. I'm sure something a little different. Play purple haze with it. Anyway, um, what do you say, fellas? Uh, you want to get to the first one? Yeah, let's do the haunted antique store on the east side of San Antonio. Man, okay. I'm sorry, I mean, yeah. it's really long. Now it's <laughs> <laughs> longer than the. the Actually, this is going to be a pretty long story, but uh, it is pretty awesome. It's a good so. story, though. Whoa. So, my name is Julio, and uh, my wife, Crystal, she owns a shop. Uh, it's called Feeding the Pig, uh, located on East Commerce Street, uh, just east of downtown San Antonio. And um, our shop just kind of just sits by itself uh, across the street from the uh, old Alamo uh, Masonic Cemetery. And uh, there's probably like a, a, a house kind of just a, you know, a couple of buildings down that has a family there. But pretty much other than that, it's just, you know, us and, and uh you know, quiet cemetery and, you know, it's kind of like a desolate place. Um, uh, Caddy Corner to our property is the old Fredericks building, so uh, that just sits there like a ghost town. But, uh, you know, we've had kind of like just some crazy experiences there. Um, the main one that I can, uh, that just comes to mind right off the bat was, um, uh, it was the last year that the San Antonio Spurs won their championship. That was like, I believe in 2014. Uh, it was during the playoffs. Uh, in the evening, 
we were just kind of just uh, at our shop and uh, moving stuff around and it was kind of getting later uh, and uh, I guess during the day so the sun was setting and um, me and my wife Crystal and our son we kind of sat in on this uh, glider that was uh, near our front gate and uh, we kept hearing like a you know, just kind of some strange sounds. Even with the traffic going by, it was really busy. Um, there was buses and just big vehicles going by. It was about nine o'clock at night. And it was, I guess it was just right before the Spurs game or something. And uh, uh, I just kept hearing something. I kept hearing it over and over again. So I asked my wife, I said, you know, babe, do you hear something? And she was like, well, I mean, I kind of heard something. And so I, I, I had our radio on very loud. So I had asked her to go into the shop to go turn it down. And so in the time that she went to go turn it down, I kind of just heard a voice just real faintly say, like, help me. And for a moment there, I thought it was kind of like, maybe it was just me that heard it. But my son, he was like, uh, I believe it was about two or three at the time. And, uh, and he had heard it. And so he kind of like climbed, he started climbing up my arm telling me that he was wanting to go home, wanting to go home. And, uh, and I, I knew he'd heard it. So I didn't know where it came from. So, you know, I kind of just thought maybe it was like a, a vagrant or somebody just kind of walking by, uh, you know, cause we had a lot of homeless people in the area. And so, you know, we always give them water or, or, or something. Um, so I was kind of like looking around, I didn't hear anything. And so my wife came back and I told her, I said, Hey, Crystal, you know, I, I swear I heard somebody say help me. And so she said, Oh, you know, there, there's a lot of cats and animals in the area that, that are always fighting or, or, you know, so they make it kind of like strange sounds. So maybe that's what I heard. So I kind of just took it as that, you know, I'm a, I'm a big cat person. And so, uh, uh, we sat down and started talking again and I kept hearing something. And so I said, you know, babe, I know you heard that. And so she said, well, yeah, I did kind of hear that. And so we looked across the street and, uh, and it was the cemetery, you know, but again, you know, I'm still kind of thinking animals and cats. And so, um, I go across the street and I kind of stick my face in between the, the, the gates that they have that surround the, the cemetery. And I'm right next to the, practically right next to the mausoleum of uh, uh, Clara Driscoll. She was the lady who, who saved the Alamo from uh, being demolished. And uh, I kind of was just, you know, I had my face in between the gate. And I was just kind of, you know, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. And I, and I, and I heard a noise again, but I couldn't like really picture what the sound was. And so, you know, curiosity got the best of me. So I went around the gate and I kind of walked into the cemetery. And I went up to, you know, straight up to the, like pretty much the, the front steps of the Clara Driscoll uh, mausoleum. And I, and I heard something kind of like on the side of the, the little building in the bushes. And I'm, I'm still thinking, you know, cats, kitties, you know, I'm, I'm in cat mode. And, um, and it just kind of just was a real faint sound. And so I kind of just bent down and I was like, you know, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. And I didn't hear it no more. But within seconds, like hundreds of feet behind me in the corner of the cemetery, I could hear this noise again. And I, I, I was kind of stunned for a moment because I wasn't sure, you know, my eyes had adjusted to the darkness. So I, I didn't understand like how something could have gotten by me without me seeing it. And so again, the curiosity got the best of me. I walked in a little bit further into the cemetery and I'm looking in the, you know, in, in the area from, where, you know, where I'd heard it. And, uh, you know, I heard it a couple more times, just kind of faintly, and I still couldn't really picture what the sound was. And so as I'm looking in that direction, again, you know, within seconds, right behind me, uh, I believe just kind of like right on Pine Street in the back of, or I should say on the side of the old Fredericks building, uh, uh, I heard the noise in that area. And, um, and this time I heard it like a, like a little bit closer and, and it sounded very strange, you know, and I was thinking maybe it was an animal or a fox or something because there's a lot of foxes in the cemetery. And um, I started reaching for my phone trying to uh, call my wife over because she stayed back at the shop with my son. And oh, I think like just right then, just I heard the noise of the words the sound like right behind me and it made all the hairs and uh uh 
from the front of my forehead to my backside, like literally stand up, all of my arms and everything. And the best way I could describe the noise was like if ever you've been punched in the stomach or in the in the gut, and you're trying to, you know, grasp for air, and it just has that very weird sound. I mean, that was like the best way I could put it. And uh, and when I heard it, I, I mean, I was petrified and. That was like the first time ever in my life I actually walked it backwards, you know, without looking behind me. And I just walked right out of the cemetery. And uh, and I went back to my shop and I was like really just, uh, uh, just I guess just freaked out about it for the rest of the evening. And it, it was a really touching experience. And um, yeah, that was that was one, uh, one experience that, that really stood out. Um, you know, we, we've had a lot of experiences there at the shop, uh, a lot of cold spots. Um, our place is mainly outside and our shop is just like, just it's really small, but the majority of our property is just, it's all outside. And so we have a lot of things that are outside that's just pretty much in the front and the back. We have a big backyard. And sometimes in the evening, we would, we would hear like, uh, uh, like somebody whistling in the back you know, almost trying to get us to, to kind of walk back there. Um, you know, we've had some uh, apparitions sometimes. That, that The best way I could explain it was that if you were to, uh, uh, you know, rip out some saran wrap or like uh, a, uh, something that you would wrap a sandwich with, and it's just kind of real transparent but very light, um, that's kind of like the way it would look. Um, I mean, walking distance from our shop is, is, I mean, not even a two-minute walking distance, but Sandra West is buried in, in her 1964 Ferrari. Yeah, that's that's directly across the street from our shop. If you went to my shop, you walk across the street, and you could, I mean, you'd be there in, in a minute, you know? There was just a, just a lot of just, just weird things. We've been there for about eight years now, and uh, we continue to have some strange experiences, but uh, it's just something that that uh, we put up with, uh, but we don't mind. We, you know, I, I think they're cool spirits. And that's pretty much it. Uh, a whammy bar on a sitar. How about that? You can do yeah. all this crazy stuff on you. <laughs> that's you so insulting, right? We think it's so funny. I mean, it is funny. Uh, play, but... uh, play uh, Van Halen's Eruption on there. <laughs> Be more like that. Like. <laughs> oh I'm hearing you all like hum that, and I, I can't stop thinking about that banjo song. Which one? The, the one that everybody knows. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dueling banjos. That's the name yeah. of that band. Dueling banjos. Yeah. Dueling banjos. It is pretty cool, man. Seriously, if you can play like that, sweet. Squeal, boy. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like, I can't even think like, you can do all that with a banjo. What could that person do with a sitar, like with the right training? Imagine, man, that guy's going to be all horrible. Oh, the whammy bar. And the distortion pedal. Oh, shit. The pickups, forget about it. We're moving along with that, man. It's a turn right here, guys. Anyway, man, off right there. Crazy story. Actually, we got to give a little insight. Pine and commercial, I mean, uh, Pine and Commerce are commerce, streets yeah. out this way. Uh, what would you say? Kind of get hit closer to town? Uh, yes, yeah, side, to, yeah. It's the east, east, east side, but uh, closer to town where yeah. they're starting to do a lot of revitalization yeah, in that yeah, area. Yeah, the older buildings coming. Um, and then, what are you talking about? The Fredericks? Old ass mm-hmm. building, like 1940s or 30s? Yeah, that's like, like, well, 40s, I think. Cause it's a lot of history stuff there. But yeah, uh, yeah. The, 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 Man, those, uh, and those, uh, uh, Cemeteries, man. Those cemeteries there are like, wait, there's, they're old ones. I remember uh, we used to hang out there when we were kids and yeah. you know, play around, go drink beer and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're one of those bad kids, but it's because it's old. Nobody, uh, people don't get buried there anymore. Uh, all the things there are like from the that's what yeah early you know what, 1900s. You're right, and, that's you're right because this guy mm-hmm. that I was talking to, we were actually brought this story up and he was saying, you know, I have a kid buried there. 
And the one guy looked at him and goes, you can't, man. That thing's a historical, it's a yeah. Masonic, it's, a, it's, a, it's old. And he goes, no, no, they're, they're, they, and then he said, when were they buried? He goes, like, 10 years ago. And I was like, really, dude? So I don't know. Oh, really? So I don't know. I might. don't know because that might have been one of those, but it's crazy if it is. We got to go look, but, like, you're yeah. right. Because, like, uh, what did they say? Uh, Para, uh, uh, Driscoll, right? The one who... Dude, yeah. I never knew that that somebody was trying to tear down the Alamo. What the yeah. hell? Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, who? Or, and you yeah. know what it was? Cause, yeah, well, uh, pissed off people. Yeah, 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 but you know what it was for, Corey? What's that? A damn uh, uh, hotel. Oh, I got a motherfucking God. hotel be up here too, right? They were like, "Well, that's a landmark now." I was like, "Man." Yeah. <laughs> but uh, can you imagine if they actually pulled that off? If that's they actually crazy, man. did that, man. For man, another fucking hotel. Yeah, for a crazy. hotel. Okay, and, but you know what? That honestly, because of where the grounds it stood on, what what do you think it would be like? I mean, for real, Jazz. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, the manger is oh, right yeah, across yeah. the street. Yeah. That shit's already haunted, yeah. so. Yeah. The and, fucking and two haunted was, fucking hotels. Yeah, well, right. Remember, because they were saying, like, uh, man, there's so many cool stories. If you look them up, they were saying that they brought out the rest of the men who were dead or dying, and they threw them in a pile, and they burned them. They are like, three big piles. Uh, while, really. while they were dying? Yeah. They, they, they didn't they, even they, let them die first? I, I heard one that they shot them, and they, 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 they burned them. And, yeah, they, like, you close your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 some right gas now. on top of them. Yeah, he's like, yeah, here's yeah, a this, cigarette. Yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah. light this cigarette for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> But yeah, 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 and I, well, gasoline, <laughs> they needed for their horse and buggies, right? Uh, that's back then, they used to well, I guess it'd be kerosene right? back then. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, not Joseph, Hager, what was it, Joseph uh, Hebner, or the onion? Bro, that onion is, man, that dude drank that shit. Oh, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> he was yeah. yeah. drinking his kerosene, that's right. But, uh, that whole, we, we've been over it so many times, how that side of town, it's, uh, History, it, it, yeah, but it's, yeah, not only that, but it's a little <clears throat> haunted, you know. Like, you yeah. got so many uh things uh, you, that just dur- and then just during in that part of town that you see a lot of stuff, but also the the cemetery is really haunted. Remember, they we way back one of our f- first uh, interviews that we gave were with the Sisters Grimm. I oh, don't yeah. know, it wasn't uh-huh. the first one, but like, uh, yeah, they were mentioned, way in the beginning, yeah, but they mentioned that the Masonic uh, uh cemetery. That how it was, um, it was haunted, and they they went through tours like that, and that some lady fainted because she saw some kind oh, of yeah. uh, uh, top hat or something Forgot like about that. It. Yeah, yeah, but uh, people still uh, faint from being scared. I guess this lady was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I thought it was, was like a forty thing. She said that like uh, that's what the wheelbarrows for. Yeah. That's what big ladies get sick yeah. or the big guys that <laughs> faint <laughs> like they do, like, and they bring, or they get tired, right? And uh, they break out the little fans that you that you. Twist open. What are those little ones? And you, you fan. You oh, yeah, in front of yourself. Paper yeah, 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 yeah. Those paper ones. <laughs> they just whip. <laughs> fan her. She's about to pass yeah. out. <laughs> fan her. They said Sandra West was like right across from his um his uh, shop, <clears throat> and that's a lady who passed on, and uh, she was buried. I believe he said in her 1962 Ferrari. Like he was the lover of her life. So yeah, that really did happen. I read about that. She also. was buried in. Yeah. In her they, car. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's yeah. how you go right there. Man, no kidding. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> it must be really I mean, it, I mean, yeah, but. I mean, how many like, car buses <laughs> you see now? It's like, you yeah. know, we go down there, we'll get us a 62 Ferrari, yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not going to be very yeah, pleasant. Like I'd that. have to use something ugly, and I, yeah, I got a uh, 92 uh, Ford Corolla sedan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, 1986 <laughs> Hugo, right? <laughs> oh, you're going to have to tow it over here and put me in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, be buried in my smart car. Come on, guy, you can't fit in there. That's <laughs> in the back, those front seats. They don't have back, back seats, right? They just have like you know. So it's a battery in the yeah. back, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a propeller, like a. But um, that and then, but it's crazy. Like he was talking about, like um, he said that he heard, he said it was coming from the cemetery, right? The help me. Yeah. 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 And then what his wife say? There are two cats fighting. And then like, yeah. one of those, the cats help me. How can he tell his wife that he heard somebody say help me? She's like, oh, maybe it's a cat. Yeah. yeah. Since when did cats say help me? <laughs> well, you know. She was getting their ass kicked. Like, <laughs> right? And he was like, over my dead body. Because <laughs> he loves cats. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now <laughs> you guys behave. Separate them, right? You but go you know, in one corner, right? I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> no, I was going to say, like, when you do <laughs> get. I should have never given my story to the sons of bitches. It's like, please don't. Say my name. The name of the place is Feed the Pig. Uh, uh, no, that's awesome. That's actually that's a <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool, cool name. name yeah, man. Feed the Pig Antique Shop. Yeah, right it's awesome, Ooh. man. And then uh, cool. uh, I have all his. Uh, we'll probably give that at the end. But I got all his uh, his um, 
info. Well, I need to go check that place out. Right? right. I know the area. Exactly. What do they sell? That sounds cool. Yeah. Oh, I think. Cats. They sell cats. They have bandanas. Uh, <laughs> No, but yeah, oh, random he, stuff. He has a thing. really cool story, <laughs> and uh, we couldn't put all of them on this one. But man, it is awesome, man. Uh, and he's actually Sorry. had folks that uh, oh, from pickers that bought item from something that he had at one time. Oh, that's but cool. He sold it somebody else. Man, oh, wow. I can't get too much into it because we're gonna use that one. But it's that one is a, another awesome story. Uh, what trips me out is like when he said that when he finally got there, that he was talking about how. What does that sound like? You get punched in the stomach. You go, oh, he did a good one. Gut wrenching. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 you, you lose your That's kind of what it sounds. Yeah, like, you're yeah. guessing for air, right? Yeah, like, oh, you can tell I've done that before. I'm almost done, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is the poor guy, right? He's like, I'm almost done. Just one more portion. <laughs> can I borrow one of your socks? <laughs> well, what is that? Like somebody, like what is that? I mean, you think that's the last gasp of the how the gentleman or the woman died? That's what their last experience I mean, on the surface was, was making that moment. It bread, could be, I mean, bread. like, it could be, you know, again, residual or something like that. One but of those things that they say is kind of just replays over and over, and maybe that's it like could be, stuck yeah. in that of all play things, you know, but. I mean. And to say, help me, too, that's crazy, man. So, yeah, it might be. Yeah. A ghost yeah. cat. I've heard the same thing. So, that's that's uh, that's awesome. That's pretty weird, too, man. Uh, but you know what? I used to pass that place all the time. And I knew it was haunted. I just never, you know, I was always there yeah. in the day. So, and it, you know what? It is kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there is, it's kind of a rough neighborhood. So, you know, but like, I, I think like you said, now it's starting to get better because it's yeah. starting to invest money in that area. And, yeah. and it is going to be uh, just like South Town too, man. Way yeah. back in the day, that sucked. Yeah. And now they're starting to put money oh. into it. Now things are getting better there. So Yeah, right there. That's where, I mean, man, there was always hookers and stuff. I mean, there <laughs> oh, might shit. even still be walking down the street there. But then now they're but, high end. Right? Yeah, I get. I don't know, but like now, I mean, yeah, we went to a restaurant there not too long ago, and it was one of those little hoity-toity ones. And man, we spent like seventy bucks and just what to just eat hamburgers. I'm like, whoa, what in the world? Were they good? Uh, no, they were. They weren't that what? great either. That's why I was like, uh, I mean, they were okay, but do they uh, not have prices on the menus? Uh, you know what? I think they did. Oh, I think they did, but well, you know what? They were hard to find though. We um, had to go to the back, and there was like a chalkboard, and had so I don't. They were trying to be oity toity and stuff. That's all, but yeah. And then we're eating these seventy dollar burgers, and then there's a hooker walking by and stuff. I'm like, you got any change? No. Oh, so <laughs> she went to go buy a burger to you, or it's what? Like, uh, no, she didn't. She couldn't afford one though. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, man, but yeah, anyway. you know what though? That 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 it was bad, man. All that yeah, area, man. Was, you used to way back in the day, back in the mm -hmm. good old seventies and eighties, man. Yeah. Um, I, uh, Tucker's always. Oh, uh, Tucker's. That, that was uh, yeah, that was yeah. pretty rough back in the day. Yeah. Awesome music, but it's it's not like yuppies now or something. I don't oh, know yeah, no, that's word. What is that? You know, millennials. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, Mike was saying. Their brother Mike was saying. Yeah. yeah, it's all like it's totally different yeah. now. I mean, it's it's safe um, to go in now. Um, not millennials. You're thinking of the word. Um, uh, what do you call yuppies now, man? I don't no. Know. Uh, um, Sorry, you know what? Y'all yeah. yeah, yeah, continue. I'll keep thinking yeah. about it. I'll have that in the back of my mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, back in the day, Tucker's though was who? Oh, hipsters. Hi hipsters. Yeah, hipsters. Yeah, hipsters. That's what y'all are thinking. Yeah, hipsters. I like yuppies, man. Yeah. Yuppies? yuppies? Cool. Is that like the fucking like. Rich. I don't oh. Know. I got uh, the rich young sure. bucks now. Like I guess that's sisters. Yeah. They, they got, uh, well, I mean, yeah. yeah if, you don't, if you don't have a beard, you're not uh, invited in. Suspenders. <laughs> yeah, you're some a cap, tight you're, jeans. You're a wool cap, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, you always have to walk hear all your music on vinyl. I'm yeah. like, come on, guys. <laughs> Everything is better before. Hey, but popular. they have nice beards. They do. Oh, they even use wax and all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you use wax or? No. No. Uh -huh. no all, use all natural. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I mean, <laughs> why, 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 you know, damn hipsters. Growing yeah. up, yeah. Yeah. He growing comes up, through. We didn't even understand. You know, wax. Like, what's wax for your beard? I was like, man, if you grow a beard, you just grow a beard. I mean, you got food in there. You can, you can, you can, you can wax it with the food yeah, that's the in your beard. Juice. <laughs> uh, bean juice makes yeah. us say it. Bean juice. What the hell, But uh, anyway, Julio, awesome story. And I will give your info at the end of this podcast. Thank you so much. I uh, can't wait to tell your next story because it is awesome, also. Um, oh yeah, uh, we titled it "My Best Friend Emily." Uh, what's her name? Uh, Our buddy Sydney. Sydney. Yes, uh, Reyes. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, she's Sydney Reyes. Yeah, she's actually uh, she 
came to see us out at the, uh, the paranormal, the paranormal fest, fest the, the second one we went to and uh, yeah we have a picture and, uh, with her on yeah Instagram. we have a picture with her yeah that's cool she's super cool and she's got some great stories man yeah, so she's, she's always delivering and this yeah. one is actually it's, it didn't upset also it's, uh, or it didn't disappoint there you yeah. guys have <laughs> so uh we'll yeah. put that one check it out go next yeah all right so my dad was in the military so we traveled a lot and we got stationed up in germany and i made a little friend named emily little girl white dress brown curly hair blue eyes right so this little girl has become my best friend she goes everywhere with me even to this day i still have her with me i'm 30 years old but back to the story so we're in a little small town called La Vista, Texas. It's out by Lubbock and Tahoka area. So we're at my grandma's house, and my dad sends my sister to go throw out the trash. And I've told everyone about Emily. No one believes me. So I just blow it off, whatever, right? So my sister goes outside to throw out the trash. And in West Texas, the trash cans are in the alley behind the house. So my sister goes out to throw out the trash can. And she throws the trash, and when she turns to look, it, there's a little girl standing right next to her. And she's like, Sydney, what are you doing? Go back in the house. And the little girl just stares at her. She's like, Sydney, go back to the house. The little girl just keeps staring at her. I come out of the house, and I'm like, Dee, Mom said the food's done. And my sister is like, like, she turns white. Like, she's so shocked. She has no idea what just happened. So when she turns to look back to where the little girl had been standing, nobody's there. So she runs back into the house, gets in the house, and she shuts the door, and she was like, where were you? And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, yeah, how did you get over here so fast? I said, get over where? She goes, here. You were out there. And I said, I wasn't out there, you idiot. I said, I've been inside the entire time. What are you talking about? And she was like, no, 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 you were outside with me. And I said, oh, you met Emily? And she was like, what? I said, yeah, the little girl I've been telling you guys about it. Y'all think I'm crazy. So she was like, what was she wearing? So I tell her exactly what Emily's wearing, what she looks like. And my sister just starts crying her eyes out. And my dad's like, what's wrong? So she, of course, tells my dad what happened. And my dad starts making fun of her and laughs about it. He's like, oh, your sister finally said all her, her lies into your head. That's, yeah, since then, Emily's been with me. So sometimes when I go on ghost hunts or, you know, I just, I'm at home. She's there. And my son, I have a two-year-old. He know, he knows about her and he sees her. So we'll be at home and he's all, no, Emily, stop. Stop it, Emily. So, yeah, and he has a new friend, too. Her name is Abby. More stories to come on Abby. But, yeah, that's, that's my story. Hope you enjoy it. Happy hunting. Later. Damn, that was a good story. There's something more creepy about little kid apparitions. Like, yeah, right? I don't know, something about it. But, well, this one, well, this is more like a, I don't know, she's calling it a, well, I guess one of her friends or something. Yeah. You know? like, like, oh, you didn't, you didn't meet her? It's kind of crazy, though. That, uh, uh, But, you know, and the one thing I think we failed to mention a while ago is that she's, uh, uh, she, she actually, she's with a paranormal group, too. Uh, Midnight Paranormal Society, uh. Oh, she's with them? Yeah. No, she's, the? Is she with them? Yeah, she, she, you know what? She she was a prospect. I didn't know they did that. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. prospect is Yeah, she's uh, officially oh, patched no, in now. She's a one percenter. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> she is, she, she's, uh, she's with uh, uh, my kind of us. And really? That, yeah, so, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I didn't know that. remember she was with uh, some Seguin or I don't know. It was uh, San Marcos, one in San Marcos. Yeah, something. I knew it was terrible. One of the cities. But yeah, mm-hmm. she's uh, moving up in the world. Yeah, she's, no yeah, kidding. So, uh, but uh, she's uh, well, congratulations, Sydney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. a little late, but uh. so she does. She can get other stories, which is great. But this is her personal story, so that's pretty neat. Well, though. Yeah, because she had like a she had like a what was it, Dave? Like an imaginary friend. That's what yeah. I, I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. But it seems like uh, when, when her sister her sister saw it saw it. And uh, it wasn't what like, she was not throwing trash or something, yeah. but then she saw the little girl standing there. Well, she thought and it was she, her. Yeah, she thought it was her, and she was telling her to go back inside. And she was like, you know, do you not hear me? No, yeah. she's <laughs> kidding, but, she was, but she never. She was just standing there looking at her. But Sydney came out and said, "Hey, you know, yeah. the conchitas are made. Vamos, you know, it's not gonna be too much if you don't stay." She like, no way that you were just here, you know, that yeah. she ran inside. So. She saw. That's what she told her at the end. Oh, you saw my buddy Emily. 
But what's trip is what we were saying Dave about her kid. Yeah, her kid actually knows of or said something, said the like, same yeah, thing. Said, uh, hey, something about Emily. Behave, Emily, or something. I'm like, whoa, okay. Emily, like, stop. Stop, yeah, Emily. stop, Emily. Yeah, and not, like. Kids, man, it's something different with you. What, what did Ryan say the other day? He came and asked Grandma and Grandpa if they could go bless the closet and the what else? The closet and the restroom. Yeah. Oh man, well the restroom, oh, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. 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 We already yeah. blessed it. Grandpa just got out of there. Can yeah, you there's bless some the demons in there. Right? Yeah. Wow, there's a beast. Full hell fury in a minute, man. <laughs> like, he was just all calm, normal. That's about crazy, though. Can you go? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, awesome. gotta do wow. daily, daily yeah. lessons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we have the, the like, cause I always have the same benedicts inside <laughs> it's of my. It's my blessing too. time. Cause you know how like Bob Moore is like a trip. Like man, I hope nothing follows us home when we're doing this. Oh yeah. So I put it in his, but I got another little medallion in there too. So we're good. We're safe still. There you go. We are we're safe. safe. But man, I, I, like, honestly, I probably would have cried too when when I. She when cried, I, didn't she? Yeah. Oh yeah. When the the sister when she. Um, she's like, yeah, that wasn't me. That was Emily. And then and she explained the whole story. And then she cried. Man, I would have cried too if I was her. <laughs> Speaking of crying, <laughs> oh god! Why did I turn around? <laughs> I swear to God, just Jacob. confused. Right, just looking around. Like, oh. <laughs> Jason, Jacob, Jason. No, Jason. You <laughs> can't okay. even talk right. Yeah, yeah, okay. That just staggered me, man. It made me like, There's our super in thought. Why do yeah, the like, people with the ugliest asses always show them off? Like I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, fortunately, we don't have a video camera recording yeah. us right oh, now. You yeah. would have seen Jacob's butt right now if you <laughs> walked through with his ass. Just kind of strolled through, right? <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, so now we all have a paranormal story. Yeah. I know. <laughs> like, what, why do you have your pants and underwear on? Boy, I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> like, okay. More convenient. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, man, no. okay, that was a sobering uh, mm-hmm. sight. Then yeah. he cried. Like. <laughs> we can, uh, let's let's post on the sobering thoughts. Let's. Uh, <laughs> let's just... I, I'm even drunk and I feel sober. Yeah. <laughs> you feel drunk. Sober. Er. I'm just kidding. Thanks for catching me. Thanks for catching me. Yeah, no, it all makes sense to me, right? But uh, um, yeah, but yeah, no, I think I would have. Yeah, I would have freaked out. But that, man, that's kind of scared, man. I wonder if the sister ever wanted to see that again, or if she ever saw it again. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, was that the only time, or was that like was there more? And did the yeah, parents ever see too? That's true. Because I mean, at least as of then, we know that they didn't. But right. well, we know she still Sydney still sees it yeah. apparently, or it sounds that way at least. And uh, you know, and now her son, that you know, her two year old son now sees it, which is crazy. That's some crazy yeah, stuff. Is it, is it malevolent? Like it's is it not like is it like prankster Emily? Whatever Emily is. No, I mean, I don't think Emily did anything like, at that time right? really. She's hey, I want to don't like if she, she can go to the, well if she wants to to go to like a psychic or whatever to see what's going on. You know, like oh, yeah, following right. her. Yeah, I would want some answers. Well, yeah, she, like what the? She fuck? said that she's kind of got them kind of um um like the how do you call that trade? I don't know what it is. When you're like sensitive, she's yeah, yeah. she's uh, yeah, sensitive. She's sort of got right, that. Yeah. yeah, so What's I right? think go to the psychic and they're like, oh, it's a succubus. Just talk yeah. to yourself <laughs> in the mirror, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talk to yourself What's in the mirror. Sydney? What is that movie? Right, it's like yeah, but you know what? That does sound. Like, it's weird. Could that be an actual ghost? That just follows a family that stays around, or something that that uh, the little girl probably are uh, like projected onto. The, that's weird, man. Yeah, that's that's weird. And weird for them stuff. all to say like, "Hey, what about me, Pac Man? Like, don't leave me." <laughs> yeah, because that's a trip, man. Like <laughs> y'all saw colors. Yeah, that's no. an awesome movie. Yeah. yeah no, what, if, what if she, what if she was? What if, yeah, you're right. Like, what if she is projected? Like, like that that guy. Who like his anger like no, projected one. itself out? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's like, true. Like, what if something like that? I'm sorry, I just yeah, I cut off y'all's laughs for no, that, no, no. but like, I just yeah. <laughs> so many questions. Serious, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is true, though, right? It is true, like because maybe maybe that's possible, man. Shit, I mean that's crazy if you can, man. Because and sometimes like when I'm laying in the my room and I'm like it's told because I can't sleep with no light no sound no nothing man I have to be like in like you know like a cave yeah, dark, yeah, cold dark cave yeah like underground like a vampire, <laughs> like a vampire. can't shut the lid can't shut the lid <laughs> but like I'm laying there and my I don't I have those those ones where you shut where they fold it's like the accordion doors where you shut um, yeah. Closet, and they're that bifold closet, yeah. yeah. Cause I got all kinds of crap in there, and like it's come off the tracks. Yeah, yeah, oh, but yeah. like yeah, uh, I don't know, yeah, these ones probably they just we just kind of <laughs> shut them because they're not on the tracks no more. But like that's what I'm saying, they're always open, and I, it's like that because like I think man, because we're talking about this, and you project something, man. 
And I'm laying there in the dark, and sometimes like I'll see some stupid scary movie or something, uh, uh, Casper or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then that's I'm stupid. like scared, you know. Real, man. But that's the first thing you say. Whatever you do, don't look. Don't look in the closet. What is the first thing you do? Yeah, yeah. Gonna hide. You look, man. <laughs> so, man, if you can't project something, come on, six foot sub. Right? <laughs> 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 or cookies. Yeah. <laughs> not, not Jacob's butt. Not Jacob's butt. Oh, Lord, right? That's what you're going to see in your class. No. Yeah. Jacob, get the fuck out of here. Time to, time to connect the dots. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, Sydney. Awesome story. Um, man, Keep dude. Are sobering dots right now, or what do you think? Or, I are think we drunk enough? Rob, are you drunk enough? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to go chug a beer. <laughs> um, I have That's cool with me, man. We'll put it down. Oh, wait. Right, should we we got to do that. We, do that. we still got two stories, and we have an Uber. I mean, we still have two stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we do. They're short though. They're short do stories the, though. But you want to do the Uber first, sir? Yeah, let's do it. Uber. Uber time. When we bars the tar. Stop. <laughs> Uber time. <laughs> 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 Sometimes I feel like you only Uber just to have stories. <laughs> what else? Hey. Uber with the slide, baby. Oh. Yeah. Or like bluegrass. <laughs> right? That, they play that with the fucking yeah, bottle? Slide, yeah, oh, okay, that's a slide, yeah. <laughs> or a bottle, even better. And using a bottle, a oh, beer bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's my broom, right? <laughs> 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 that's totally that's going to that's town. That's my broom, man. <laughs> yeah, we need to stop. Oh, <laughs> that's Atari. Yeah, yeah, so we need to go open it. We're just making fun of a guitar. Yeah, we're making fun of a guitar. I gotta be honest, I hit the first sales level. I have no idea what y'all have been going on the whole podcast about. I don't get it. You know, well, you know, I know what this. I know what a guitar is. I just I want to play, man, because I'm like, okay, the guitar. That's what you you can use the slides and. The big the, uh, whammy or uh, the best one. The uh, whammy bar, those things are. Yeah, yeah. I, like, oh, no, I, I, I know what yeah. these individual things are. I just. I yeah, just, together. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're just saying because, like, a sitar, I mean, a sitar is, you know, more, I guess, Indian culture. They I don't know if that's the right word. I don't want to yeah. be. But but they don't use stuff like that. I mean, they just play the sitar, you know. Yeah, yeah there's but, no such thing of putting, like. Yeah, but we're just saying, what uh, if? Yeah, you know, what if? You, you, <laughs> what if we could <laughs> hook a whammy bar onto it? You know, all the strings are just. Bam! <laughs> So the 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 Please gonna quit with that. I'm gonna join these guys, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, come on, Dave. We gotta hear it, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right. When you need a ride, when every second counts, where mints and bottled water are always free, there's only one guy to call. Uber Dave. Time to Uber it. All right, we got that sitar out of the way, so I'm going to check this out. I'm thinking of more stuff. I know, it's like, oh, a sitar with reverb, sitar with uh, tremolo, uh, sitar with... Uh, Playing the sitar with a bow. <laughs> with a bow, yeah. <laughs> what did you say, with a slide a while ago? Playing it with a slide or a bottle, like real punk rock? Or, or like Jimmy Page, yeah. a double neck one? The, oh, the two- oh, a double neck sitar. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you are, right? you shit. That's, a, that's a real wizard right there, man. Dude, I want to shake that one. Playing the bottom neck man. with his foot. Yeah, that man got a lot of bitches, right, dude? <laughs> hard sorry, hard. sorry. <laughs> They're like, damn, that's a mess right there. Damn, I'm sorry, Davey. No, yeah. that's cool. All right, so, uh, man, I don't remember what day it was. It was like in the middle of the week sometime, but uh, I got a call to pick up Pat. So, Pat you know, Sitar? Pat, Pat Sitar. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, but anyway, so Pat I thought Sitar? it was a girl. I don't know. I just assumed it was a girl, and. uh but looking at the app, you know, it's like I couldn't really tell. I just, uh, you know, I see this, you know, a picture of somebody with a big forehead and a lot of hair and 
And it looked a like beard. a mustache, but it was like, yeah, but it was one of those that could still be, yeah, could be a guy or a girl. Let's oh. flip a coin. <laughs> So anyway, uh, you know, this guy jumps into my Suburban, and, uh, and I'm, well, I say guy, I'm still not 100% certain at this time, I'm like, I, okay, you know, still, you know, even looking at the person, I'm like, uh, how you doing, <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, uh, you know, I'm like, hey, what's going on, how you doing, Pat, and, and, you know, I'm thinking, you know, well, maybe the voice will help, but, you know, man, still nothing, I was like, the voice was kind of one of those, Neutral. same thing, I can go in the way, I'm like, uh, so what do you say, okay. what is it, uh, uh is it Patrick, or, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Patty, what do you go about? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Patty. <laughs> like, that still doesn't help, Patty. Pat. Patty oh, they just call me Pat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, no, it's all right. So, you know, finally I'm like, okay, well, yeah, how's your night going? And, you know, same, you know, the guy's like, oh, you know, we're kind of a raspy, masculine, but yet still feminine voice, you know. Well, good, how's your day going or whatever? I'm like, okay, still not putting two together. But then, uh, uh this person finally, man, it's like, so my, my suburban, I got like, uh, Kind of like uh, there's like two captain's chairs almost, I guess, in the front uh, to explain to the audience. And in the middle, there's like this console where, you know, you can put your soda or whatever. And um, it has like a big area. That just It's kind of like a big divider in between. And it has like a cushion. You can kind of rest your arm on it. Uh, but anyway, so, man, okay, so I got my answer. The, this person, they put their foot. He rested his sausage. Man, on your arm it's like. <laughs> 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 I mean, the, yeah, he went to seven. So, you like summer sausage? sausage? <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, it's just something warm on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> no, so this person's like, hey, you know, it goes on about, you know, these new sandals, you know, that they bought. I'm like, okay, man. Okay, so I was like, yeah, it was a man. Uh, <laughs> this dude puts the, like, a size 16 you know, sandal yeah. foot, and I, right, the, like, practically bare, you know, hairy foot, right in the middle on my center console. Oh. To show me his sandals, you know, but I'm like, dude, really? I'm like, are you serious? Exactly. Yeah, shoes. Yeah, these are uh, some brand name. I don't know. They're like brand name. They got on Ross because they're, they're really regular. One was a size 16. That was a size 14. That was from Peggy Hill. Right. You better start. Yeah, yeah, they were Peggy Hills. <laughs> It's all my... Peggy Heels. <laughs> That's funny. No, but I was like, dude, are you serious, man? The guy put his foot there. I'm like, dude, I had my soda right there, too. Like, oh, on the front oh, oh, part. Yeah, it's like, it's I don't think he grazed like, it. Oh, dude. <laughs> grazed his yeah, oh, 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 It looks like Panda, but it's not on the top of your soda. <laughs> oh, I like that. I don't oh. like that. <laughs> Get I was like, soda. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you another one if you like. And like no, I'm good. I gotta cut back. <laughs> Like no, but toe dust. <laughs> <laughs> toe dust. Yeah. And then this guy, you know, he goes on. And he's talking about his new sandals, and uh, I don't forget what they were called. Were they nice? They were. They're, they're just sandals. I don't know. I'm not a sandal guy, so I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't what kind of sandals? Were they like shop shoes or like the no, leather? No, they were like the kind of like the leather ones. I mean, they have like the tire tracks on the bottom and stuff. Are like you saying you don't find those no more? Nine size sixteen. Nine size sixteen. Nine size sixteen. Those called something like the Jesus sandals. I'm just saying. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. But with tires, so yeah. I, I'm gonna leave oh, it at that. That's so like a whole tire. With probably. real tires, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. They're yeah, the, still the belted. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you get a lot of miles out of them. <laughs> hey, the, the, the guppies brought them, started bringing them. Or what do you call them? The hipsters, the yeah. hipsters. Yeah, yuppies. Yuppies. yuppies started bringing them yeah. back, man. Really? So, yeah, people oh, they're, they're coming back, man. Yeah, they are. They're a thing now. Sorry. Well, I mean, I guess oh, they're. Oh, but then yeah. this guy. Now he's talking about. He's like, you know, oh, now he's talking about he had to get a manicure now. So he's going on and on oh. about a manicure and stuff. And I'm like, dude, okay, really? And, uh, man, seriously, the guy starts clipping his toenails, man, oh. in my car. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Were they flying everywhere? Were they really hot? Yeah. Okay, oh, I'll let you finish. The yeah, they were flying. I'm eyes. like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they hit the windshield. I'm like, oh, dude. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> they hit the navigation on my phone. It changes somewhere else. It Bill's <laughs> Auto Shop. Yeah, yeah. Right down the toilet. <laughs> Bill's Auto Shop in Boston. <laughs> I'm like, come on, dude. Twelve hundred miles, take a left. <laughs> oh God, I'm like, dude, that's gross. Yeah, man. that was uh, that was horrible, it's like picking man. Picking your nose and wiping it on your console yeah. might as well, dude. Not even using nail clippers. they wire cutters. Yeah, yeah, hardcore snap-on dikes and shit. I have a tough time with these. This now. <laughs> 
Oh, but my anyway, goodness. that was it. So he rode around for a little bit, and he was trimming his toenails, man. And I, when we was, no, when I dropped them off, dude. Yeah, seriously, I went to the uh, car wash, man. And I vacuumed that out, dude. I was like, dude, I'm getting. That's huh. disgusting. That is gross, man. You had ten tools, but I only found seven tools. Yeah. I was right there. <laughs> and the whole time you're worried. Oh. Yeah, he's in the back seat right there. He's eating an ice cream cone. <laughs> oh, what is this guy doing? He's eating the dog cough. <laughs> 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 It's gross, man. Yeah. <laughs> gross. When, uh, when Corey clips his toenails, I hit. I hear them like fucking hitting shit. Like, Cash out. Okay, fake ass toenails. That was about it, though. That was pretty gross. That's man. Oh, gross. That yeah, man. Like, not pretty gross. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> How are you comfortable yeah. enough to do that? But yeah, it's that's what I'm saying. Though, like, probably could have been a girl with a really big foot. <sighs> Yeah. It still could have actually the way the, the way the whole thing went. That's true, and the the name brand of those sandals were Peggy Hills. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, good gosh, man, that's nasty ass. Yeah. Uh, that's some gross stuff. But yeah, that's uh, I think I'm fine one that's a lot from Ubering. Did you leave them two stars? Uh, hey, yeah, I just I put a little note on there too. Like, <laughs> Dude, he flips his toenails in your car. Don't leave them up. Leaves the stars, not, not Dave. No, they, he can leave. No, I can. Nope. I, really? Yeah, yeah they, we well, rate each other, so you got to be nice to each other. Make sure you I wear safety goggles. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come prepared. Nice yes. guy slash girl. <laughs> nice person. <laughs> nice person. There you go. Nice but, individual. But, uh, yeah, but make sure you have safety goggles. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, That's disgusting. Oh man. That's yeah. When I, I when I used to work at the, well this is kind of different but I used to work at the uh, bowling alley and they found a, a a nail but it's like a fake nail but it's still gross oh, it's yeah, fucking gross. Still gross like if you see na- fake nails like so much shit gets caught under them it's disgusting yeah. but they found it inside their beer pitcher what oh, the I would have like a soda Fished it would have been mad but yeah. a beer pitcher yeah. oh, oh, a fish a little fishy net and just yeah. like drink I mean it wasn't my now. nail. <laughs> Because I never had fake nails, but yeah, I'd make sure. I, yeah, just fish it out, finish the beer, and then complain. Put it back in and complain. Yeah. <laughs> so they can replace it with another one. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol kills it. Yeah, yeah, no. it was, you know, it was Lone Star. What were y'all drinking? Dos Equis. It's something way of Guinness, right? Yeah, like, Guinness. Guinness, right? <laughs> anyway, my bad, David. Yeah, that was crazy. But oh, um, that's disgusting. For over 100 years, we've been scrunching and folding toilet paper. Finally, there's a better way. Comfort Wipe, the sanitary paper extension arm and holder. The first improvement to toilet paper as we know it since the 1880s. It extends your reach a full 18 inches while it follows the contours of your body and comfortably cleans. It's as easy to use as a shower brush. Just pop on the toilet tissue and when through, just press the release button and the tissue drops right into the toilet. Think about it, toilet paper is really archaic and disgusting. The Comfort Wipe is a modern solution. That's right, never touch another dirty toilet tissue. Being a big guy certainly has its advantages and its disadvantages. This is a great product. It's embarrassing to have someone help you with your personal matters. The Comfort Wipe allows you to maintain your dignity while you maintain your personal hygiene. Comfort Wipe. The sanitary paper extension arm and holder. Order now and we'll send you the comfort wipe for just $19.99. But you have to call now. What do we do next, Jazzy? Should we get sobered up? No. One Luchador? more story and then sober up. All right. Let's do it. One more. The Luchador. Luchador. This is the one that we got from that little bar. The Luchador. And, then, and, uh, on the back side? Uh, after that was the uh, the haunted house for sale. Which was pretty cool. That's that lady, uh, his wife. It was yeah, husband and wife. Two. So what's the and she has two of them. She actually has two. You want to throw so, all three oh, together? together? Let's throw them all three together. Okay, cool. All right. All right. So I was working a night shift from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And I had this patient. She was kind of a mean old lady that no one wanted to take care of. I got stuck taking care of. And so um, I checked in on her. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. She was complaining that she wanted to eat and drink, but I wasn't allowed to give her eat, eat and drink. And so she was kind of, you know, really kind of complained a lot and everything. I was like, okay, you know, I can't give you nothing else, but, you know, I have to go now. I've checked on you. I'm going to I'm gonna leave the room now. And so as I leave the room, I stop at the sink to wash my hands. You know, I'm washing my hands, and I look up, and in the mirror in front of me, I saw a young girl standing next to me, blonde hair, wearing a white dress. And I spun around, and of course, there was no one there. But it was like, okay, maybe I'm just tired because I'm working night shift. I'm tired. 
So at night shift, we check on patients every two hours instead of every every hour. We check them every two hours. So at four o'clock in the morning was the next time to check on them. So the respiratory therapist was like, "Oh, right, Mario, I got this one. I'm going to go check on her." So he goes in and he comes out. And he's like, "Dude, she's gone." I'm like, "What do you mean she's gone?" It's like, "She's not in the room." He goes, "No, she's gone." I'm like, "What are you saying?" He's like, "No, she's dead and she's like cold already." I'm like, dude, she can't be cold in two hours. There's no way. They like, no, she's gone. She's cold. She's gray and ashy. So we go in the room. We check on her. There, there's no pulse, nothing. She's cold. She's already stiff. We're like, there's no way. So I had to call the house supervisor. The house supervisor comes in, and I'm explaining to her everything that happened for that night. And she goes, oh, did you see the little girl? I'm like, what do you mean the little girl? It's like the little girl. I'm like, no one's told me anything about little girl. What are you talking about? She was a little blonde headed girl in a white dress. I got chills up and down my spine when she said that. I got scared. I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, every time someone dies in this hospital, they see this little girl. She has blonde hair with a white dress. And she appears within the hour of their death. And when they die, there's no bringing them back ever. And I was like, someone should have told me that before this happened because I would have tried harder, but it was too late by the time I saw it. So that's my story. All right. So I was looking for a house and my realtor was doing her due diligence and taking me to every house that I had looked for. We decided to go to this one house and didn't realize that there were no windows at the entrance of the house. We walk in, couldn't get the door open. I'm sorry, let me back up. Couldn't get the door open. Fundle with the key for several minutes. Door flies open all of a sudden. We walk across the threshold. Both of us instantly get chills up and down our neck. I told her, I don't want to step any further into this house. I look down and we're standing on a polished dirt floor. And I happened to glance into the corner and there was a dark stain that was obviously some kind of pool of something. The door slammed shut as we're inside. Chills again up up the back of my neck. And I tell her, you've done your due diligence. We're out of here. So that's on Mariposa Street in San Antonio, Texas. Second house hunting story part two. Finally decided to buy a house on Rosewood Avenue. Same general area as the other house. Wake up in the middle of the night and I think, wow, it smells really weird. I'm living by myself. I'm in my late 20s. And I think it smells like matches. Did I leave a candle on? Did, you know, what's going on, basically? I, I wake up because I smell this smell. It smells like matches, sulfur, rotten eggs. Um, I happened to look at the foot of my bed and there was a little boy. No taller than my bed, so you might want to say maybe four, five, six years old. Just standing there looking at me. All of a sudden I felt like my body came out of itself. That's the best way I can describe it. And I thought, I must be dreaming. So that I tried to wake myself up and I realized I really was awake. And I still smelled the smell. And I told the little boy, it's okay. Everything's okay. I'm, I'm a good person. I'm taking care of this house. I'm taking care of... If you have something to say to me, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll take care of you. I'll take care of the house. I'm doing my best that I can here as a single female to take care of everything. Bring it up to par. And next thing I know, he was just gone. He was just gone and the smell was gone. A hundred percent that smell that I smelled, that match sulfur smell was gone. So it wasn't a skunk. It wasn't a passing car or anything. It was that spirit. Man, El Luchador, man, that place is awesome, man. It is, man. And, and you know what? It's so cool that they gave us, uh, you know, those cool stores. Man, that was crazy, man. Um, I didn't know. That's why I was saying, like, it ripped me out. The first lady who was talking about how she was uh, going into the houses... And uh, what were you saying? Like, we were talking about that, like, during the time. It was like, I think you were asking me. I know the lady couldn't go in because she felt something, right? 
Yeah. Uh, um, like she felt like you know some kind of uh, I guess <coughs> bad vibe or something. Right. Yeah. And then because she saw the stain, and then uh, I think we were saying like you know like the the realtor did she. She, oh, a realtor. Do yeah. Do diligence. Yeah. What did she do? Do diligence. What did she do? Do diligence. Yeah. There you go. Do diligence. Well, but but that's what I was saying because like, the, the, we were talking about, did she go into hell? Yeah, she went in. Yeah, yeah the, 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 I know the lady probably didn't. She was scared, but yeah. a realtor do whatever to sell you that damn oh, house. Yeah. Uh, can you excuse me, ghost? <laughs> <laughs> I got blood on my hands. Can you, move? you know, that guy got to show the house, you know. And then that's what tripped me out, too, because I didn't know what that's what they were called. And they're actually very nice floors. I, I had seen them before. I just didn't know that's what they're called. Yeah, I was like, what, oh, the, what the fuck is a dirt? Yeah, she came with a polished dirt, dirt polish. Floor, yeah. I, like, I thought she meant that, yeah, yeah, dirt like, floor. Like, like from, from, yeah, from, yeah, from, yeah. Okay, I like the cathedral ceilings and the bay windows. <laughs> uh, but I thought I was getting a floor with this. But <laughs> 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 it's actually really nice, man. That, that, yeah. it's, it reminds me of like an orange bowling ball, but like with a lot oh, of Oh, yeah, it does, yeah. And, yeah. and, and it's it are the one that we Do you think that's what they do? Do they just fucking leave the dirt on the floor? I don't know. No, I think it's cement. I think they put cement and then they put like some sort of yeah Yeah. color. I don't know. Eric has it. Her cousin Eric. That's what you're saying. Man, Eric's floor is nice, man. It's It's nice. Really nice. I like it. And they put like a real thick coat of lacquer Mm -hmm. or something on top. I mean, I don't know what it is, but it looks nice. It's it's real cool, cool, man. That's why the only thing I think is like an orange bowling ball. Yeah. Anyway, (laughs) um, but yeah, uh, but then what? The the door slammed on him, and they saw that. I can only assume that she was thinking that stain was, you know, what blood. Yeah, blood. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of what I guess she made it sound like. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know. That's that's creepy. I don't think I'd be buying that house. Yeah, uh, yeah I wouldn't actually. Oh, it's off topic. Somebody said they went down the street right here at this four way stop. Um, there's you remember that house that's fucking been for sale for oh, like yeah. over two years. Yeah. They said they went to go look at that house, and that there was a. Big fucking stain in the middle. It looked like blood, Why and they were you like, not "Take that off, right?" Oh, oh, you know, yeah. like how cheap do you have to be? Yeah. Where you're like, you know, oh, how do you see the pool of blood there? You know, like, <laughs> you know, six by six foot. You know, like you know, somebody bled out there. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll be fine. I'll be, okay. I'll be okay. I'm not wasting the rent. No God blessing. The, the, uh, re- uh, carpet extract. Yeah. You know, or just clean it out. Yeah. yeah. Who buys a house with a fucking? Well, I guess yeah. I don't know. How you go around? Wait, that house is expensive too. Like, uh, can you lower the fucking price yeah. and then I'll think about yeah. it? I'll think about it if y'all get that blood stain. Uh, it comes with blood stain, sir. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'll take it. But, uh, but you know what? We got, like, we, we jumped in hand because before that. Yeah, the other, her husband told a story. Um, is it her husband? Or, or I, I don't know. Uh, the yeah, the gentleman that, that, that she was but, with. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I thought it was her husband. But I don't know. I could have been. I Did you see a ring on every year? Well, yeah. I thought they were talking just, about it. No, no, but they were together in a bar. <laughs> well, they're married. they got to be married. <laughs> well, his was awesome because he yeah. was another ghost freaking a... ghost in a, and, and a child ghost yeah. at a hospital that when you see him, that's it, man. Oh, it, sh- it's so weird because when he told the story, I mean, it's like, man, just like Mike's story. I, I mean, it's like, same thing. Oh, oh, yeah. You know, on one of our past episodes, you'll hear the same thing, like, from our brother Mike. It was the same stuff. Was it uh, a child, too? Two. Uh, they were making a lot of rackets. But they did see the oh, little yeah. Bronx, right, yeah. David? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, yeah, well, they saw the ghost, too. Uh, well, that one, before they died, the people that were dying would see the ghost. Right. Also, uh, well, that was one of them. Jeez. Because there was another one. The, the one we are talking about, that guy, picture. the buddy, well, that picture was, the, the, that was different. That was like a, it reminded me of the nun. That's so many stories. The I don't know what yeah. the picture is. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> okay, we didn't never get that one, but uh, Mike told us, like, okay, look, when they hear the two children then and they were actually bitching god bless it my, my mom's trying to get rest they couldn't rest because these kids were making and hooping and hollering well there are no kids on that floor they don't let them run up in there like that but the the staff knew already oh shit man how do we yeah, break it to him yeah. no they don't yeah. they're just like oh oh well tell them to keep it down you know? yeah yeah they, yeah they just kind of pop their head into an empty uh, uh emergency room a uh, waiting room yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come on in there. Yeah, kids, come on now. I was like, here's some coloring books. Or, yeah, but that's... And they the, just lowered the TV. Yeah. Like, it was, uh, make it seem like... Oh, good now. Yeah. But that's the thing. That, that's crazy because... Here we go to this one. <laughs> the thing that tripped me out here... Hey, I'm laughing like an asshole, right? <laughs> Jerk. Yeah, well, no, I'm just because... When he You're said, nervous. We're normally supposed to... Yeah, because I think because it's a sensitive, I don't know how to approach it. Yeah. Uh, 
Normally everybody does it every one hour, but I do it every two. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess that's policy for them. Yeah. But yeah, especially if they're mean to you. <laughs> that's wrong. Oh, I'm just yeah. playing for them. <laughs> like, yeah, I just really take the job seriously. And hey, this happens, you know, how people get sick, you know. They, but the thing that tripped me out is because he said that when he went back in, that she was already... Um, Ashy. <laughs> yeah, and gray. Ashy gray, yeah. <laughs> I feel like maybe she was... Actually, she was already actually. Oh my god, never mind. I know that's sad. I don't know. Make fun of me when I die. No, but no, just because the way we say it, because we get nervous and scared. But that's weird how, like, that's how fast that happened. Like, it happened that fast. Like, you know, and and. Yeah. I mean, and they know their stuff, you know, what's supposed to be going on, how long that takes. That's a trip, man. And then, what was the last one? The little boy? Let's see. You know what, though, uh, on topic for the thing, I mean, that's a comforting thing, right? Because they're walk. I, I would assume you see that person because they're walking, welcoming them, you know? I'm fucking drunk already. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, you yeah. ready for that sober <laughs> and Hadron Collider. I've been trying to get super drunk before Ian's story. Ooh, child. Yeah, that's a, Let's see if it works. <laughs> um, well, yeah. I, could see maybe that, that right process, like but you think that's why you don't you her? butt anything well i'm just saying like what if it's like a demon and they're just oh it's a, it's a little fucking something. blonde girl in a dress that's it's a little bit don't mean nothing on the tail. <laughs> ignore that, her know. dark black <laughs> eyes <laughs> yeah the eye sockets will help <laughs> <laughs> who needs eyes when you're dead <laughs> But that's the thing, though, right there, is because I guess that's what she was just trying to say. I guess I could live with you. Just we be cool. I'll be cool. You be cool. And, you know, we'll be cool. Oh, that's a different story. Right. Going to that yeah. Maybe. I mean, that's the only thing, you know. And, man, that, that's what it sounds like, yeah. And that's a trip, man. I mean, I, I hope she finally finds a house that's, you know, <laughs> yeah, that goes no. free, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, so yeah, she yeah. bought the house with the blood in it, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. I went back to the, the Adobe house with yeah. no floor, right? <laughs> I'll take that one. Yeah, just yeah, rent a carpet extractor or something. I was like, a, just scrub it out, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's amazing. But, uh, yeah, they were awesome stories. Thank you, fellas, for that. Yeah, um, thank you. Oh, awesome, man. Shit, we, 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 uh, tonight's were really good. Uh, we, we got the doozy. Oh, yeah. Oh, this, man. Y'all guys ready to this get sober? This is a sobering out here. Okay, hold on. I just want to... Stop is this just repeating like I said earlier like this is not my field of expertise I did my best to understand it and then relay it in a easy to understand way Ooh, easy to understand I think I failed at the second part I think I understand still a little bit but I failed you at understood it. it we don't understand I think, it I think I'm not I, I, maybe I'm wrong um, there was also some terms that I used that I didn't define in uh, so we need a glossary recording. with this story, huh? So yeah, I mean, bust maybe, out your like, dictionary. Um, some of them I did actually have, have notes on. By, right? Some of them I actually wrote notes on. So if y'all have questions afterwards, like, oh, what's a quark or something, like, I can answer that. Oh, okay. Just, just, just make a mental note of it. For you uh, listeners at home, I can give you his number so you can call him. <laughs> That's going to be game. No, no, just go to Wikipedia. No, I'm just kidding. I've been in the, like, a lot of your smart friends. They'll call, man. They don't listen to our shit, but Ian's on, Ian's on. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, and they know exactly what you're right. talking to. You need to <laughs> fucking put uh, timestamps on our video <laughs> so they can just fast forward yeah. Ian's shit. Why don't you just have uh, Ian uh, sober and that'd be cool. That's how they think about what? Uh, Ian's, Ian's corner. Uh, corner, uh, uh, just uh, nothing but your scientific <laughs> thoughts, man. Oh, yeah. oh God. I don't know. <laughs> I get really Maybe. drunk. That way, That's Ian, I can see if. Uh, <laughs> Ian loves me enough to sober me up. <laughs> Are you about to drive? Well, hear this. <laughs> but anyway, well, uh, I guarantee you, though, my friends listeners, they'd probably be like, no, Ian, you got this wrong. Come on, you got to do this better. So, like, some, of, like, some of my friends are brainiacs, man. I mean, I'm smarter than them, but they know more than me. They know more than me, but I'm smarter than them, but they know more. <laughs> That's how that works. There's a whole bunch of us that know a lot. I'm doing air quotes. <laughs> you can't see them. Yeah. 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 We used to actually do research. We just kind of, yeah. you know, half-ass it now, right? I was your research girl, and now I'm oh, just yeah. your <laughs> drunk girl. You're yeah, <laughs> like, I got to stay sober to research. I don't want to be a research girl. No more. I know. I think that's still my title, right? Yeah, we're listening to the the, the, the the story, and like we're all like, Jazz, Jazz, what is, what is the title? What is it? She's like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I got a phone. Hold on. 
<laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's hit it. Yeah. The Large Hadron Collider, which I'll be calling LHC for short throughout this segment, is the world's largest and highest energy particle collider, and the largest machine in the world. A collider is a type of particle accelerator with two directed beams of particles. Colliders are an important research tool in particle physics. They accelerate particles to very high kinetic energies and let them impact other particles. The LHC in particular primarily collides proton beams, but can also use beams of heavy ions. The main aim of the LHC is to allow physicists to test predictions of different theories of particle physics, including measuring the properties of the Higgs boson and searching for the large family of new particles predicted by supersymmetric theories, as well as other unsolved questions of physics. As for like the construction of the LHC, it was built by the European organization CERN between 1998 and 2008, with the combined efforts of 10,000 scientists and contributions from 100 countries. It lies in a tunnel 27 kilometers or 17 miles in circumference and is as deep as 175 meters or 574 feet beneath the France-Switzerland border near Geneva. With some quick math, I found that it's, it's almost 5.5 miles, or 8.6 kilometers, in diameter. So that's 5.5 miles across, <laughs> from one end to the other end. One thing I want to also say is, um, the hadron, in the name Large Hadron Collider, refers to subatomic composite particles composed of quarks held together by the strong force, which is one of four of the primary forces that dictate the universe, essentially, like how things interact with each other. Um, the most common of, this, of the four forces is gravity. That's the one we know most. Other than gravity, the other three are the strong force, the weak force, and the electromagnetic force, and they mostly operate at the particle level and down. Getting into the nitty-gritty of the LHC, one of its most well-known purposes was to prove or disprove the existence of the Higgs boson. The Higgs is a particular type of boson, which is one of two major types of particles, the other being fermions. Uh, bosons include fundamental particles like photons, gluons, W bosons, and Z bosons, which are force-carrying particles, and they're important to our understanding of particle physics. Anyways, going, getting back to the Higgs boson, its existence would serve as evidence that the field described by the Higgs mechanism, or some field like it, actually exists. And this field is important because it's believed to be what gives some bosons their mass. Without this field's existence, there would be no explanation for why these particles have mass, which has been measured. At least none that fit, no explanations that fit neatly into the standard model of particle physics, which is the current most common and widely accepted particle physics model for how the three non-gravity forces work. In case I was a little wordy, uh, in other words, so the standard model is an explanation and a type of, a way of explaining how electromagnetism, strong forces, and weak forces operate. And without the existence of the Higgs mechanism, some of what we think we understand about it, about that model of particle physics might not be true and might have to be completely like rethought or re um, re explained. Um, thankfully, in 22, the LHC accomplished its task by confirming that the Higgs boson does in fact exist, which means that this field or a field like it does in fact exist. And uh, so, so, like I was saying a second ago, if it wasn't for the Higgs boson, there would have to be other theories that they would have to explore 
for why these particles have mass, theories that, if true, would have contradicted or gone beyond the current scope of the standard model of particle physics. Things like the existence of other dimensions or, or realities, stuff like that that would be way out of the current scope of particle physics. So that was like one of the main things that the LHC has worked towards over the years. I don't really uh, want to get too like into the nitty gritty. That, that was the most popular one, so that's what I wanted to talk about for the most part. And now, um, I was talking about this with you guys before a little bit. Some of you guys before um, there was apparently like a lot of concern, safety concerns regarding the creation and operation of the LHC before it became fully operational. Um, some of these things were like doomsday scenarios that could be caused by such a high-energy collider. A little fun fact, there was another collider that was operational before the LHC, um, the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider, which start, uh, began operating in 2000, or 2001, I actually don't have that here, I'm doing that based off memory, and it also faced similar concerns prior to its operation. But um, after two reviews, with reports published in 2003 and 2008, scientists confirmed that the LHC was, in fact, safe to operate. And of the concerns that people had about it, the two most common ones were the potential production of a stable micro black hole and the possible creation of a hypothetical particle known as a strangelet. Regarding the concern about the creation of a stable micro black hole, the standard model of particle physics predicts that the energies of the LHC are way too low to create black holes. However, there are some extended models of the standard model of particle physics. These kind of extensions of the standard model were created to explore and address some of the shortcomings of the standard model, such as the standard model's inability to explain what happens inside of a black hole. According to these extended models, there is the possibility of extra dimensions which, if correct, would mean that the LHC is actually capable of creating micro black holes. I don't know how or why. Um, that wasn't explained in any of the thing notes that I found, but that's just that's just a thing. Just the possible existence of other dimensions would, in fact, lead or or maybe not even that. Maybe it's just the extended models suggest the the, the create the possible creation of micro black holes f through the LHC. Anyways, even if that were true, though, Hawking radiation would prevent these black holes from becoming stable. Now, Hawking radiation is a thermal radiation that is predicted to be emitted by black holes due to quantum effects. This essentially means that they lose matter through the radiation. And if a black hole loses more matter than they gain, or you can think like eat, then they are expected to dissipate, shrink, and eventually vanish. The micro black holes that the extended standard models suggest are feasible would, according to the standard model, be small enough that they would lose more matter to Hawking radiation than it could eat from their surroundings, and would shrink and dissipate instantly. At the time the papers, papers had been published, Hawking radiation had yet to be proven, though. But in September 20th, a signal that is closely related to black hole Hawking radiation was claimed to have been observed in a laboratory experiment involving optical light pulses, but so far the results have been unverified and debatable. Thankfully, that's irrelevant because no micro black holes have been observed in the LHC over all its years of operation, so we don't have to worry about anything yet. Now, that was everything I could dig up on the micro black holes situation. The other one was the strang stranglets. Stranglets? Stranglets? I have no idea how that's pronounced. And honestly, I didn't have time to, to really wrap my head around it, what they are and what they do. But I did read that if they were, re they were real, they are less likely to be produced at higher energies, and the LHC operates at a high enough energy that such concerns are considered far-fetched, and honestly, as they're, they're every so often they upgrade the LHC, um, right now they're in the middle of, I think, a four-year, three or four or five-year update period, and afterwards it's going to be operating at an even higher energy level, I think. 
And so, yeah, I mean, as, as they upgrade it, it's going to operate at higher and higher energy levels. So the, the Strangelets, if they even do exist, if they even are a real thing, there's been no evidence found of them, to, to my knowledge. But even if they are a thing, the LHC is going to be getting further and further away from possibly creating them, thankfully. Um, that's all I had. Um, that's all I could come up with. Uh, you guys probably have some questions about some of the terms I came up with, so uh, let's hear them. Ooh, man, talk about sobering. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, one of the hardest some big words. I know. Yeah, you had me at uh, Fucking... Dark Hat Drunk on that. The wheels are like clicking in my head. <laughs> yeah, you had me at Duh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I've heard of this so before, like mm-hmm. a long time ago, and I, I did look into some of this a long time ago. Um, not to the extent that you did, where I learned all them big words. <laughs> yeah, and, fancy words. And in my you know, sixth grade uh, uh, <laughs> vocabulary. Uh, yeah, vocabulary. <laughs> my my uh, interpretation of this, basically, from what I understand, it's just a big circle. Like I explained to Jasmine a while ago, it's like looking at a sonic ring. You know what a circle <laughs> a is? Yeah. Imagine it big. Yeah. 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 It's like a big circle, basically, and they empty it. Like you were saying, they, they vacuum everything out, and all they it's do is... It's a big old they, tube. It's a big tube that's like miles wide. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like Ian was saying, it's like five miles tall so let's say you're standing inside of the circle you look up and you're going to be looking for five miles up that's how big this is and uh, inside of the tube inside of the tube just yeah. looking in the tube so how round it is i don't know we didn't the, see, the length but, of it i yeah, yeah i couldn't find that but it's got to be miles though because this thing's buried underground so this mm-hmm. thing is you know five miles deep plus mm-hmm. you know but um, in that little tube, uh, basically, they vacuum everything out of yep. there, yep. and they have two microscopic little, what are they? Uh, uh, protons. protons. What is the tube go. made out of? I think it's like cement, right, or something, or, I don't know. I didn't I, find that. Actually, I, didn't, I don't know. That's a good just, I didn't see that. Right. Yeah, okay, anyway, But these sorry, two yeah. particles, basically, they go in a circle around this whole tube, and they crash into each other, mm-hmm. and that's what they're testing, what happens when they crash. Yes. How and fast? It's uh, like billions of miles per hour or something, yeah. right? It's uh, something it, ridiculous. Is it like light years? Yeah, they, they, it approaches the speed of light. They try to get it. I think it, it's, it's either at the speed of light. fast. It's either at the speed of light or like approaching the speed of light. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they crash so hard that that's what some people were afraid of a long time ago. They said it could actually create a... And I guess that's what you were saying, that that's not true. But yeah. um, th- those are some of the stories I had heard, at least, is that they could create a black hole. And yeah. a black hole, as you know, constantly eats, so yeah. people were really scared. I mean, they were right. they, they, used to, they were picketing this thing in the beginning when they were first started doing this, mm-hmm. and uh, there, a lot of people were picketing it because they were like, dude, that's, that can end the entire Earth. I mean, yeah. and then... The solar uh, system probably. Yeah, the solar system. But the, yeah, the whole solar system. So what they were saying, too, another thing was that, um, uh, one of the other things I heard is that they can actually, through this experimenting, they can find out how life actually began, and they can probably recreate that uh, with this. Uh, this just one of the other things that I heard yeah. that there inside there is a, a potential tube. of recreating, you know, life uh, inside that tube when these things collide. And that's, that's just there human life or just no. Well, I don't know what kind of life, but I mean, life itself, you know, like so could we're be playing mommy, God, you know, huh? Basically, we're playing God is what they're saying with this wow. with this thing. It's, so, it's, so like a Big Bang, in right, other words, yeah. another Big Bang. It, exactly, and that's what they said. Though you can, they can gen- generate the Big Bang, you know, inside of the uh, the thing. That's yeah. why there was a lot of uh, people like really, and of course we're not out that uh, there yet. But just like you were saying a while ago, towards the end of the the uh, whole thing, is that they're not done yet. They're still they're still, they're still it. growing it. They're yeah. upgrading it. You know. So, and like you said, right now they can't do a uh, black hole. But yeah. who's to say what's going to happen after yeah. the upgrade? And yeah. if not that upgrade, what about the next upgrade or the exactly. next one? You know. Are you yeah. gonna hit that eventually? I mean, you know. they they've done the math and supposedly they know what's what. But I mean, it, like I mean, like we were saying, like I was saying about the extended model of um, the extended standard model is that there's a lot of things that we still don't understand. We're getting we're reaching actually. So that's something I, I saw a video of the other day. We're reaching the point where it's like the end of modern physics. Like we're reaching a point where we understand everything we can with physics right. as it currently. Like as we can, but I mean, of course, there's still unanswered questions. Like, but it, they're gonna push it though. It's just like pushing it, and pushing it, and pushing exactly. it further, and yeah. So we're gonna even if they don't more. understand it, yeah. Like pulling in the quantum. Uh, that's yeah. the cool thing about like, of course, you learn a lot from like whatever, but then you do, there's a lot you don't know, yeah, and exactly. you're risking, you know. 
Yeah, like string know. theory is not is not actually part of the standard model of particle physics. It's uh, an extended form of it. It's beyond particle physics, uh, particle physics or whatever the standard model. Um, so like, it's 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 they're they're still working to understand. And so that's one of the things the 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 Hawking radiation. How they found that with um, some sort of like a photon or something. I don't I don't remember exactly what it was that I had said. But um, that they're using, they're learning how to use. We, we can't actually go to a black hole and measure what's going on in there, and we can't. Um, it, it, we don't. We don't know enough about it to be able to simulate it. So what we're doing is we're simulating it with other things like like water, like sound, like like light. So so we're f making the simulations that we are using to try to better understand what goes on around and in a black hole. Yeah. And so that was that was they found Hawking radiation through one of these simulations that substitutes like a black hole for something else that's like a black hole. So I learned everything I needed to know about a black hole from like the Treehouse of Horrors. Okay. <laughs> um I don't know if that's and I haven't seen that episode. Yeah, it is. It's relevant because they store it in their basement that way it doesn't like and they're like, Don't feed it. <laughs> Uh, and people, yeah, seen that yeah and then they yeah. just keep feeding it. Like yeah. Bart feeds it his homework, and yeah, that's right. Yeah, and they just keep feeding it, and it just keeps growing bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's and how then we it gets like, language. yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that, yeah, I understand it now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I understand everything yeah. I need to know. I do remember the, the, yeah. the one that the guy he threw those. He, he threw some photos in, and then they blew back out. And he goes, damn, nobody wants these naked pictures of Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing, man. Okay. okay. <laughs> but oh, yeah, like, uh, but eventually, like, they get. Uh, it, hold on, it gets. Uh, they get so big it sucks them into like another dimension. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah. Can we <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, especially if I don't understand it, I'm like, yeah, but like, even if yeah, I did, I probably don't want to. If I not, it's right. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that, imagine that, man. The alarm's going off, some fat ass up there eating a Swiss sub or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> take it later. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about the, the black hole, too, is that it, it, I guess, like, it's, so, the way I understand the black hole is, is it's this super, super condensed like form of gravity essentially like it, it's a mat it's like this insane mass shrunk down into the size of like on a on a microscopic level or on, on the on the in the terms of like space like the to the level of a pin a pin needle or something like that right. like like so all of this gravity is squ squ uh, squished up into this tiny space and so like it's actually all this gravity all this mass yeah. is squished up into this tiny space and so the, the Think of it like density. Like the more tightly pack, the more you tightly you pack mass. Like the bigger the, the bang, the bigger the bang. The the more it like falls into water. Like the, the lower it goes, right. right? So like gravity, the the more you tightly pack mass and matter, the the more gravitational pull it has, and it eventually reaches a point where it kind of collides in on itself and becomes a black hole that is constantly sucking in more matter, and it so as it sucks in the matter, it gets even more dense, it gets more, uh, it gets more matter into it, so it has a stronger gravitational pull, so it gets bigger. Um, that's my understanding, at least. So, so that's what the fear was: is that it would eat enough matter that it would, it would get a stronger gravitational pull, that it would continue eating more matter, and it continue growing, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then it would destroy us. But at this point, we're not there yet. They said, right? right. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. They, they figured it's not creating black holes after all, or not yet. Yeah. Not that least. they're telling us. <laughs> right. As far as we know, yeah. Or maybe they did because there was a lot of there was a lot of you know, back on that, you know, blowback yeah. on that. Well, and that's the thing too is I, re I thought I remembered re seeing a through the wormhole episode where they explained that that this it does happen. I yeah. thought that I, I could have sworn I remember seeing an episode where like yeah it. these microscopic black holes and they they just don't feed enough so then they go away. I thought I read, I saw that. Hey, maybe, you know, it could maybe be. it's something they don't want to tell us That's because then they're gonna fucking or, scare us. Or I know where you're going with this. Uh, Mandela effect. Yeah, that's just what I was gonna say. Oh, I think yeah. that could be yeah. Mandela yeah. effect, that, right? That's true. It could be, or it could be that they, 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 you know, the whole idea that some people have that it goes into another real, uh, another alternate reality or yeah. something like that. Well, maybe we did create a black hole and it sent us to an alternate oh, reality, oh, and yeah, then that's the go. Mandela effect. You think I was rich yeah. in my last? No. <laughs> no. No. Black no. no. <laughs> if it's an alternate. No, I, I, I'm, just, my, I'm just throwing stuff out. Spitballing. Yeah. Spitballing. I got no idea, honestly. Yeah. This is like above my head. Um, and so, but the as far as I think you had a question the other day about how it operates, like what, like um, Padre, my, my dad, 
Uh, sorry, just speaking to the... Yeah, I forgot nobody can see us. <laughs> I, I, my dad had a question the other day about how it operates. And so um, I, what I found out is I got to stop this uh, off the mic recording because I got to No, don't notes. do it. Um, but um, it's the way it operates is that they have these particles. You know, let me just put the notes up. All right. So inside the accelerator, they have two high energy particle beams that travel close to the speed of light. This is another like segment that I wrote separate just in case I needed it. And, you know, I want to say it anyways. Um, so they travel close to the speed of light um, before they're made to collide. I said light years. Speed of light? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I said good light. Job, okay, good. Um, so the beams, they travel in opposite directions in separate beam pipes. So that's the thing, right? It's it's The oh, hadron oh, collider okay. is one big thing, but there's also separate pipes oh. that kind of offshoot. See, I didn't know that either. Yeah, I, I didn't either. Wait, there's like... Yeah. Like for, like forks in the road that like yeah. will send them so in different sort directions. Of, I think so. Yeah. Well, they're probably still going in a circle, but they just go into different pipes. Going yeah. In yeah. Different circles. in different directions oh too. Oh my god, that's yeah. so weird. And so and then they, it's at an ultra high vacuum, which I I think I, I didn't write it down, but I think I saw like a headline like it's it's like a vacuum like at the level of interstellar space. Jeez. Like geez. it's even stronger of a vacuum than that. Um, oh man. I, I don't know if I read that headline properly, yeah. <laughs> but um, something like that. So, like, super mega vacuum. And so these particle beams are guided around the acceler uh, accelerator ring by a strong man magnetic field maintained by superconducting electromagnets. So basically, they got a bunch of magnets creating this huge field that accelerates. 9,300. There you go. Thank you, Rob. Um, That's how many magnets, right? Yeah, okay. something to that effect. 900? 9,300. 9,300. That's the only thing I knew. Uh -huh. <laughs> Apparently, too, they have to chill the the air inside of the pipes to negative 271.3 degrees Holy Celsius. That's more than chill. Wow. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> a little <laughs> chilly. It's, it's a, a chilly drink. Bring a jacket. It's sweater. Yeah. It's sweater it's weather. It's weather. <laughs> well, it's colder than outer space. Wow. So they, they get it colder than outer space. Cold, man. No. Uh. Well, now I really want to know how this thi what this thing is made. I know, of. right? <laughs> because yeah, it's some like. I mean, yeah, it's got a super vacuum and super negative two hundred yeah. degrees. I mean, what is this thing made out of? Jeez. I. That's the only thing I couldn't that's find. Fun. Man. But um yeah apparently they use liquid helium to cool the magnets and uh, to do other services as well but Jeez. but yeah so like it's uh, it's insane what they were able to pull crazy. off with this yeah um but what, I mean yeah what were your questions Jazz I know you wrote something oh yeah well I don't know I feel like yeah, I feel like they were answered but now I'm looking at them sober <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like these are some stupid ass questions <laughs> yeah. Uh, Can you eat strawberries in there? <laughs> <laughs> Just Wait, <laughs> what color are the what color are the protons? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah, because we were talking about. I think I maybe it got answered about like um, catastrophe, right? Yeah. Is that but yeah. So I mean, there was this, there was the, the the stuff that I talked about plus the stuff that my dad talked about that they were they were thinking oh. about. Um, yeah, <laughs> like alternate realities too. That's just I guess. Oh it's yeah, just, it's total quantum. I, I guess or or physics. Yeah. I should say. Well, I mean, because even um, even particle physics doesn't answer whether or not there's alternate realities or right. other. I guess they wouldn't tell us anyways, right? They probably wouldn't. I, I mean, that's what that was one of my questions. Like, have they found yeah. like evidence of other dimensions? But right. why would they fucking tell us? Yeah, they're not gonna yeah. tell. They're not gonna tell us very much because, like I said, I know there was a yeah. lot of pushback um, when you know when people were finding out about some of the things they can do, yeah. or these yeah. things they thought it could do. Yeah, because then everybody you know, so. would fucking panic. Yeah, and, well, I they mean, were. That's I'm nervous it. now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway. yeah, yeah. That is fucking so, weird. Yeah, that's weird. But uh, yeah, should we, uh, man? Maybe start to wrap up. I didn't realize. Uh, yeah, this is like a really neat. I, I like this stuff too. But yeah, uh, should, should we switch to being a science podcast? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that might be cool, man. Because yeah, this stuff. I'm thinking, man, like those little vacuums that they said. I wonder how big. Like, say, like, like one was like, like, say, like a fifty cent piece mm -hmm. uh, circumference of that long ass tube going like all the way around. Mm -hmm. You think it could like suck a human being through it? That's how fast it's going. Like, oh. if you got caught. Like up and oh, yeah, the butt cheek like, just grazes against and like, oh, yeah. you know. I'll come out like a fucking 
yeah, yeah. But like tuna. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You're, you're, you're like yeah. Stretch Armstrong. All the way around. I'm looking like a weenie dog. Five mile weenie dog. Well, I mean, unless you ate a lot of meat, I don't think you'd get pulled along because it's uh, magnets. Oh, that's, oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said the vacuums and stuff. I was like, well, that's true. The, vac- well, the like, vacuum, you get. It. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're vacuuming. They're sucking air out of it, right? Right. Right. They're sucking air. So I mean, I, I. So and I and I come sometimes too. I've like mm, confused this. The a vacuum is like the net, like the opposite of high pressure. Like it's it's the absence of pressure. So you know, like we're on Earth, like we're being like like. You know, we're being pressed down, so our bodies are being like sort of held in, not really held in place, but I mean, like we're yeah. like if we went into space, what I've heard before is like you expand because there's no pressure. There's no pressure pushing down on your body, so you would expand and blow up. Yeah. So, so a vacuum is the absence of pressure. It's Can you imagine like, getting like fatter than? We- yeah. <laughs> 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 I was just looking at you. I was just yeah. thinking to myself, like I can. Yeah. Is that the ISS space? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how do they monitor this shit? How do they monitor? Well, yeah, a lot of computers. Oh my god! Yeah. Like, yeah. does anybody go down there and like, like, like the first people that fucking made it? Oh, and okay, I don't understand it. I still yeah. there's so many questions. <laughs> there is. You can go on forever. That's just it. Uh-huh. There's a lot of questions. But. Uh, uh. Anyway, uh, man, we should we probably got to move on because this is a long podcast and this is an interesting subject. I, I love mean, it. if you guys but, want, maybe we but, could revisit this for the next podcast. Just just yeah. research somewhere that has some questions and we'll talk it out for right. the, and we'll, instead of Ian's sobering thoughts, it'll be <laughs> RMP's sobering oh, thoughts. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, good luck with keeping everybody else sober, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I gotta go buy more beer. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, so how, did I sober you up, Jess? Are you sober? No, yeah, I have questions, but I'm going to just... <laughs> ask afterwards. Call yeah, you. I'm going to call you when you call get you. home. Yeah, just email <laughs> if you have questions, email them to us, too. Yeah, um, we'll try and figure them yeah. out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Why would you ask us, though? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, some of this went over my head, so I mean, I don't know if I... Yeah, good luck with that. I do know more, though. Well, that's good. Yeah, that a little, not very much more, but actually, I learned a little more too. About yeah, that's good. That helped I'm, glad. I'm glad. I'm glad I helped. And, and if you learned more, yeah, <laughs> well, I will all you people out there that are listening to us, uh, watch um, the Simpsons. Yeah, watch the Simpsons. Treehouse of Horrors. I don't remember, but Which somehow <laughs> Lisa makes. I think it's like twenty something. She makes black hole. Oh, yeah. everything gets sucked in. <laughs> watch that first, then hear this. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hey, so guys, if you got a story, um, man, what's that phone number, Rob? That phone number is 210-901-8666. And remember, folks, that is a three-minute call. So if you do bring us our... Bring us... I even wasn't even drinking. If you do call in your stories, uh, please, uh, if they go over three minutes, please call back and tell us this is part one or part two of what it... Or part three, however many times you got to call back. Uh, to finish your story, and if you're the shy type, uh, we got that website, Dave. What is that? Yeah, the you can visit us online at www.rigamortisparanormal.com, um, or you can email your story at uh, rigamortisparanormal at gmail.com. Uh, on the website too, there is a uh, there's a little button there that says submit a story. You can click on that, and there's a oh, form. Definitely, yes. So either way, whichever we want to do it, you can. You, so you got three ways: you can call us, you can email us, or you can submit it on the website through the form. Uh, whichever way you decide to get it to us, please do. We can use your story. We love having your stories. Um, man, you can listen to us too if you're you know, trying to figure out, hey, how do I listen to you guys? Um, although you should be listening to us now if you're listening to this. <laughs> but, but other ways you can listen to us, you can hear us on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google Play, uh, and, and much more. I mean, it just goes on. Um, and please, if you can, uh, we'd love it if you would like us or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, and most importantly of all, please uh, share our uh, share our stories with other people. Uh, let other people know about us. Uh, we'd love to, you know, uh, keep growing and keep things going. We, we need your stories. Well, yeah, we need your definitely. stories. Fucking go somewhere haunted. <laughs> make some back, shit happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bring some demons back with you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We're too scared to do it ourselves. Yeah. 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 You do it for us. Yeah, <laughs> just tell us what happens. Right? <laughs> Don't die. Don't die before you tell us. 
But yeah, tell us a story first, and then you can die. No, <laughs> no don't die. Don't die. <laughs> don't die. Just live yeah. the rest of your life haunted. Keep up stories coming. Um, but I do want to give a uh, shout out to Julio. I told him I'll give him. Oh uh, yes. Uh, he is uh, the 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 gentleman, the first gentleman who gave us uh, the story about the uh, his haunted uh, antique uh, shop. Antique shop. It's uh, here in San Antonio. It's called Feeding the Pig. It's at 1722 East Commerce Street, San Antonio, Texas, 78213. And uh, if you want to just feel free to browse around, they got some awesome stuff, or maybe try to hear a ghost, or maybe even go across the street and sight one, or, you know, it's uh, he's, he's open. Uh, oh, actually, the dates, let me give that to you, because they're kind of, uh, they're different days. They're from... Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, and it's open from 11 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And not Sunday or Monday. They go uh, picking. Oh, and man, that's the awesome. Picking. So they go, go picking, too. So, and I'd like to thank them for those stories. And everybody else who wrote in, oh, they're awesome, man. Great. And this is so going to be, a, I think, the longest one we've done, fellas. Well, at least in a long time. But, uh, <laughs> fucking Ian. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. And I didn't no, even no, get to good. say everything. No, I it was done. good. It was good. Yeah, I like awesome. it. I had more notes, yeah. too. I just... Give me your number because I gotta call you later. <laughs> I have so many questions. Okay, uh-huh. obviously, like, okay, maybe I don't know how shit works. Oh, okay, we're not done. Sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> leave that in or I'll No, 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 don't leave that in. Sorry. I thought we were done. I was about to leave the table. So, uh, thanks again for listening, guys. We really appreciate it. Um, again, please send us your stories. Please like us. Please share us. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Tar with reverbs. It's a tar with uh, <laughs> tremolo. <laughs>